Hey, nice to meet you. Great to meet you, Catherine Minshew. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm yeah, excellent. Excited to be here. Glad to meet you both. Are you ready for your elevator pitch? We are. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. I'm Nathan Gold, Chief Coach at the Demo Coach. I hail from San Francisco, California, where I spend my days and my nights working with entrepreneurs and executives all over the world to help them clearly and concisely get their message across to people they talk to. Okay. So I'm Catherine from The Muse, and we help people figure out what they want to do with their lives and how to get there. We've got about a million people a month right now who are coming to the site, and they're looking for uh, job opportunities, expert career advice, and a peek behind the scenes of companies like Facebook or Intel, uh, Gucci or NPR. We provide photo profiles of the offices and video interviews with current employees about what it's actually like to work there. And we ultimately believe that your career should be inspiring. So anyone can provide a massive list of tech data that all sound the same. Every company's an innovative place to work, hiring for team players, but that doesn't differentiate one job for another or one career path for another, and we want to really help people imagine what they could be um, and what they could do with their lives professionally. So we work with 100 companies, uh, 400 career experts, 10 national publishing partners, and about a million uh, unique people coming a month. Uh, we hope that's going to grow pretty substantially. We want to be the future of career. Okay. Your energy, your passion came through 100%. So don't cut back on that at all. I thought that the message you gave was very clear. It can be more clear, and I'll tell you in a moment how I think you can make it even more powerful and compelling. It sounds amazing what you have. So the one thing I did notice though is you were very nervous. And there are some things that you can do to help yourself with that nervousness. One is to warm up beforehand. Now I know you had that chance, so great work there. So you warmed up this part of your body, and when you went to talk, you could actually do it. The second thing you were not doing very well is breathing. Mm -hmm. And by not breathing well, you make yourself more nervous. All you need to do is breathe down into the abdomen two or three times, bring that breath down here, because typically when you're stressed out, a physiological reaction that we have is we're breathing here. very shallow breaths. You know, take a few of those breaths in beforehand and that will help you at least give your brain the oxygen it's starving for. You didn't mention the word muse once in your, in your presentation. If I go back and listen to every word you said, you, at the beginning you did, but then it was never used again. Mm -hmm. That name has to be heard over and over and over again during your presentation, or they might not remember the name of your company. Well, we Aren't you the muse? So well done, fantastic. Uh, now you have one hour, mm -hmm. and that gives you time to refurbish, rework through the pitch, and then we'll see you in about an hour back in the elevator. Great, we're okay. excited. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to pick a single story that mm -hmm. actually resonates with. I like the idea of bookending. Yeah, I think some, something like that should be in there at some point. In terms of the problem statement that he mentioned, I think it's a good opener. People really don't like it, but once you have a job, there's you know, the cert, like the process doesn't end there. I like that. You know, and then say, we have to say the muse again. Right, <laughs> make sure we put it in here. Cool. Okay. I think we got it. Looks great. I'm really excited to see it. Now I just have to memorize everything. <laughs> okay, so you've had your hour to rehearse and reformat and restructure. You all set? Yeah, we're ready to go. All right, let's hop back in the elevator and see what it sounds like. Great. Okay. Okay. So we are the muse, and we take the agony out of job search and inspire your career. Searching for a job is so frustrating that a lot of people put it next to going to the dentist on a list of their least favorite things of all time, but we want to change that. Currently about one million people a month come to the muse to explore job opportunities, to read expert career advice, and to peek behind the scenes of companies from uh, Intel or Facebook to Gucci or NPR with photo pro profiles of their offices and video interviews with their employees talking about what it's like to work there. We want to help people if they're starting a new job, uh, making a career transition, getting a promotion, or going through a difficult situation at the office. In fact, earlier this week, we heard from a stay-at-home mom who used the Muse to re-enter the workforce, and a new grad that uh, used one of our negotiation classes to get a raise. We're working with about 100 companies, uh, 400 career experts, 10 national media publishing partners, um, and about a million users a month. So we want people to come to us because they're inspired about the potential that they have, not to slog through the daily grind. When it comes to career, we want to be their muse. Okay, super. Let's Thanks go. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. I 
thought that Catherine did an absolutely amazing job in that first presentation that she did. The second presentation, as normally what happens when you give people a very short period of time to make changes, the actual content improved, but her passion and her enthusiasm were pulled back. So I'm really excited that the content improved, but now all she needs to do is sleep on it and work on putting the emotion back into it.